Today, August 16th, Camtasia released a new version, an update to Camtasia 2022. Now, if you pay attention to things like version numbers, the ones that they've been releasing have been 2022.0.1.2.3.4.5.6.7.8.9.10.11.12.13.14.15.16.17.18.19.20.21.22.23.24.25.26.27.28.29.30.31.32.33.34.35.36.37.38.39.40.41.42.43.44.45.46.47
and you're still not even going to get the most blur for your buck. Okay, so let's say that the blur callout is, oh, how shall I put this? Um, somewhat less than satisfying. Oh. Okay, let's do that. Here, let's go to visual effects and let's find this guy. Where is that thing? Um, blur region. Okay, and I'm going to drop it on the canvas here or drop it on the object on the timeline. And here, what I have is kind of a blur on steroids. You can tint the blur if you want, and you'll notice that you can really get yourself some blurage <laughs> in this kind of particular thing here. Now, I haven't tried this, but I'm going to guess that you can add animation to it. I'll play with that later, but that's just one thing we might want to think about. The other thing is that what I found is to resize this or move it, it is like really touchy. <laughs> now I can get my double cross here here and I can get right over top of the 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 center dot. Okay, and I can move it, but the first thing I wanted to do of course was to resize it. Well, if you don't get exactly, and when I say exactly, I mean exactly into one of these handles, then you're going to end up grabbing your underlying image or something like that. Okay. You really just be aware that you, you got to be dead on with it. Okay. And see here, I just wanted to move it. So I resized it and then normally on a call out or something like that, you can just, you know, click. Uh, you can't do that. You got to get into the center here oh, and now I can move it. Right. So what I have is a pretty powerful blur kind of a thing. You'll notice my cursor doesn't change if I'm going to resize it like this. Oh, it's just a little weird to me, but OK, I get it. And you can change the color. Right, so you can get different levels of, oh, we'll call it frosted glass if you want. So all kinds of cool things like that. Uh, if you take the opacity down, then it basically kicks out the color. Right, so now I got me just a good old fashioned blur. Uh, let's see, what are some of the other kind of interesting things? Uh, you can do a couple different kinds of shapes here, a rectangle or an oval. Uh, okay, you can add corners to it here, like that. So it's like a rounded rectangle now. Uh, and here's kind of an interesting thing. You can also invert. So here, uh, what I've got is, uh, see how it's just tough. <laughs> it's weird how tough it is. Uh, and there we go. So I can invert it and kind of get an interesting effect like this and then just kind of pull the whole thing into a little more awesomeness so you can also feather it out so now i'm going to go ahead and add some of that white color you can get some really nice easy vignettes and things like that right uh, so i think that's a pretty good one i like it that's a fun effect Okay, and then here is the other one, and this is called Freeze Region Effect. Now, they say to select any region of the screen and freeze the selected area. Um, okay, or inverted selection in place for the duration of the effect. Get rid of those annoying and embarrassing pop-ups with a simple drag drop effect. Well. I don't know. <laughs> to me, it seems like a solution looking for a problem, right? I mean, if I want to get rid of a pop-up here, I just have a little bit of a screen recording. And let's say right about, where is it? Here. Okay, I see you get these tool tips and stuff. Well, they say you can add this freeze region right so I can freeze the region and then I got a monkey with this thing you know to say I only want to freeze where that tooltip came up right okay well now I gotta find out where did the tooltip come up 
and then more importantly, where did it go away? Where do I want to unfreeze this? It's just in the way. Everything's in the way. So my solution to such a thing is, well, I can freeze the thing. You want to get rid of a pop-up? Here, let's do this. Let's put the playhead right there. Let's right-click on the playhead and let's add us an exported frame. Okay, freeze the region. This region is now freaking frozen, <laughs> right? So this is the, the much easier way to do it to me because now I can, okay, where do I need this again? Put my playhead right there, right? Where do I want it? I want it right there. Freeze that. And then I can tuck it in and make it last as long as I want or whatever. So that's kind of my basic take on that. Any questions on that? That's about all I know on that guy right now, and I think that's all we'll kind of mess with that today.